All right. Let's talk about the 6% of black men that are marrying interracially. Um, why is this so important, right? If it's only 6% of us, who really cares? Here's the problem. The 6%, right, is 6% when you factor in all of black men, right? But that same 6% turns into 20% when we are dealing with marriage minded black men here's where i got that from um i didn't come to this on my own a couple of my uh cousins helped me out um but here's where i got that from right so 70 percent of black children are married out of wedlock right meaning their parents aren't married so meaning 30 percent are get married into uh families where mother and father are married so the man had to be marriage minded before he had that kid so we can assume that 30 percent of black men are marriage minded now the six percent of black men that are marrying interracially are what they are also marriage minded they're just not getting married to black women so you can combine those two so if i took the 30 men who are marriage minded i understand that six of them are going to be married interracially right the whole idea that they're marriage minded puts them in the same group right so that 30 percent of black men who are marriage minded also includes uh the black men who are marriage minded but who choose to date interracially because what makes them um placed in the same category is the fact that they are marriage minded so we are walking around in a community where only 30% of black men want to get married. And out of that 30%, six of them, so six out of 30 are going to marry interracially. So if you do the whole percent, percentage breakdown, you have six over 30, which breaks down to 20%. So one out of every five black men who want to get married is going to marry inter interracially. The rest of the 70%, I mean, you could factor them in, but yo, whether they date interracially, whether they date exclusively black, they don't want to be married. So it doesn't really matter. You can't really factor them in, right? It's like, you know, um, taking a head count of who's going to come to your birthday and you're counting people who don't want to come to your birthday at all. Well, if these men don't want to come to the party, they don't want to come to the party. Who cares if they're gay? Who cares if they're straight? Who cares who they date? Because at the end of the day, they are only dating, they aren't marrying. So that's why the 6% of black men seem so significant, right? Because if you strip out the men who don't care about marriage, you're only left with 30% of black men who are marriage minded, right? So that same 6% turns into 20%. So that's where the whole idea of man, right? It seems like it's so many. Yeah. If you think about it, every black man that you see with a family, right? That's hard to find. It's rarely are you going to go out and see a black man with his family, the kids laughing and having fun, right? So out of everyone you see, every five you see, one of them is going to be married to a white woman or a non-black woman. So that's hard to see. So if you rarely see it, but the second you do see it, you know, the black dude is with a family and the mom's white or whatever, it's going to stick. It's going to seem like it's a whole lot more because it is a whole lot more. Right? We just have to throw out dealing with the men who don't care about marriage to begin with. And I'm not trying to put a knock on them, but marriage is not, you know, on their things to do list. So why factor them in? Why? So, you know, hopefully it makes sense to you. I know I threw out a whole lot of numbers. But take it easy. God bless. Let me know how you feel about it.